Hello, greetings. This is Gilles. I wanted to come and say a few words. I'm going to pull a few cards with the Angel Tarot and discuss about the moon and, and all the its, it's, it's many functions. For the, this, this Lion Gates portal is going to stay open the whole month. There is a great deal of acceleration, a great deal of opening. And, and for that, we, we are given the opportunity, for what it started on July 25th to August 25th, to, to access certain codes within our DNA, to, to activate the 999 code within our DNA, which is the fifth dimension, or fifth to twelfth dimensional portal of ascension, in order to deactivate the, the 666 codes, the beast, the ego, within our DNA that hold us back to this 3D re reality. For this lion gates, uh, many people will want to um, leave the earth right now because the humanity has created a nightmare life for so many people. They have almost destroyed the planet, and so so it's not the fault of, of those of individuals. There is there is certain individuals that have been doing that, and and so we are. Um, but uh, so the earth is almost unlivable, not for everybody, but for many people, they live in conditions that are inhumane. And so, but it is not about for us to live, but we have to stick with the program for we, we came around for to serve Mother Gaia. And so uh, um, the shift will happen and eventually we're going to move into this fifth dimensional beautiful planet Earth that we'll discover once this mission is over. We, when the mission is over, we'll be able to explore the fifth dimensional Earth for the priority is the heart and the heart requires the, in order to pass through the portals, we need to stay connected to a heart and to have the purity of heart in order to to go through the portal, this Lion Gates portal, there is those two big lions that are, one has got, he's got this, this, the golden look, you can look in his eyes, he's got this golden ray in his eyes, and the other one from the past, and the other one has got the silver ray from the future, and so those, those lions are guarding the portal, those who are not pure at heart will not be able to pass, it's just a very powerful beings, and they will guard the process, the, the portal, so, but uh, do not be afraid, have no fear, and uh, but when we have no fear, we have a pure heart, and we're sincere, and we can pass through it, and, uh, and so, um, for we do not want to allow any form of darkness within us to integrate the, the divine polarity of yin and yang, but to eliminate all the darkness within us and call on the assistance of spirit. You can assist. You can call on the, the guardians of those, those portals. For those portals, we'll always uh, what we seek is to find these inner portals uh, also that are activating this inner portal that allow us to to move through the, this um, this fifth to twelfth dimensional portal. For the the lion heart is is the heart of of, of strength, of kindness, of joy. Of, of purity, of, uh, of leadership, of uh, refinement, of courage. So we want to develop this lion heart uh, and to, uh, and to, uh, to you know, so that we can move, ascend and move in the residence uh, to reside with all that is, so that we're no longer separated. And so um, this powerful lion's gate portal. And I'm going to discuss a few ideas, uh, talk about the moon, and uh, I'm going to pull a few cards with the angels. Well, the, the French Oracle was really nice today, so we'll have, we'll have good news coming, it's, and it feels like this, so we'll see what happens. Um, the situation is the dreams. The dreams, the dreams are the, the, the tools of creation. Sometimes they can also create illusions, but it is our dreams that will create uh, everything that we've created in this world. Started with a dream of somebody. Somebody dreamt of a dreamt of a car, dreamt of a, of a, of a dreamt of an electric bulb, dreamt of a, a cell phone, dreamt of a, a pair of shoes. Everything was a dream before it became manifest. So dreams are very important, and do not compromise your dream because other people will tell you, "Ah, oh, it's too much of a you." Can and the limitation, the universe, the force within us is far more powerful than we believe and can bring us. The bigger a dream, the longer it takes also to get into alignment with it. But, uh, but do not compromise your, your dream state. Same, same thing to dream about something small as it is to dream about something big. And so around that is the judgment. It's going to be the judgment of Creator, the, 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 the hand of God. In the, for it is not for us to judge. We want to, let, we want to let go of our own judgment in order to move into the, the, the receptivity and the acceptance. But the, the, it's, it's really the end of time. The Omega, the, the great logo Omega, is, is, uh, is, is been manifesting itself as the end of the end. And, and then we're waiting for the logo Alpha that will come to announce this new age that will be coming, where we'll be able to be totally free. We we'll want ask for freedom and joy and abundance and serenity and, and wisdom and health. So it's important to make those requests. 
what we see before us is meeting and countering. We're going to meet some uh, some people that are very, very uh, will be really good to us. So it is uh, for, to complement us on a professional level of friends or lovers. All those kind of meetings are very important. What we have in our past is friendship. For we we've been true to ourselves and we've been we've been cultivating this, this those friendships and new friendships will come around. Uh, old friends may come back. Where we are now is reparation. We are. We need to, to fix up all those things that have been left uh, left um, in suffering or left and, and complete. So we need to complete the comp well, those little aspects of our life, and so to repair, to repair certain things. We have the power to, to the Buddha discovered this power to go back into his past and destroy the thoughts of the past. He cannot change the past, but he can bring light and lucidity in, in the understanding that each lesson brought. What we um, What's coming in the near future is apprentissage. It is a learning process. It is an assess. We're learning something. We're going to be learning new lessons. New level of understanding will be revealed to us. New revelation. Where our power and strength in the situation is knowledge. The card of knowledge. What comes to us from the outside world is energy in a pure form. It's the card number one. It is energy. What we see in our hopes and fear in our emotion is hesitation. We we haven't really been able to, to self-determine, and, and that's really much because of, a, of of the controlling programs of the matrix. Uh, I'm going to discuss that a little bit more. Once we overcome our hesitation, we'll find true clairvoyance, and everything will reveal. For we we're just getting back to our natural state, to our op to our true states, and so there'll be much. Uh, it's going to be a rejoicing once we can activate those inner codes and inner portals that everything will be unified, and the outcome is success it is the card of success for we've been working towards our success and uh, for, sometimes we learn so much more from our, from our mistakes and from our failures but um, and, and if we fail long enough we'll, fin we'll finally we're going to succeed in whatever we need to do so I wanted to, uh, to say well, no one there is no one here to judge God the life God is as infinite wisdom he will do what he will do it's because for a long time he allowed all beings individual beings to have their own way but if you, when he wants to change things things will change and they are changing and so um, also when I said we cannot control somebody else's creation we cannot control this matrix because we didn't create it it is it is only under control of the, of the creator of this matrix and so and sometimes we, we, we are connected into a collective reality where we allow other people's creation to have a big impact on our life. So it is important to, to, to understand there is all kinds of tyranny that have been imposed due to, to ignorance and the, the nature of this matrix. But we do not want to resist the tyranny. We do not want to fight the tyranny. We do not want to oppose the tyranny. We want to create a parallel reality that is our, our own creation. And the tyrant has no power because he doesn't create he hasn't created that. So it's, it's a trick. It's, a, it's, quite, a, it's quite an intelligent... Um, way of going about to create this parallel reality where because the, this this program that we've been subject to is, is is not of our own creation therefore we cannot change it we have to trust that god will or the higher spirits is they're, they're working towards the the towards that but uh, but we can only do so much here and so but everything we've created we can change but when it's not of our own creation it is the responsibility of the person who created the, those reality and so, uh, so when we create this, this, this parallel reality for ourselves that is more pleasant, uh, the tyrants have no power over that. And so, so it's, it's quite an interesting uh, concept and idea. So this moon that we have is actually the controller of the emotion. It, she came here about 26,000 years ago. I know some people will not believe that because they've been taught some other, other ideas. But it is actually, it was, started, it was created as an artificial intelligence. It's a spaceship. It is hollow. And it was created uh, in the Pleiades. It was hijacked by the dark forces millions of years ago and turned into a, a, a death ray, a death star. But when uh, 26,000 years ago, this, this, this spaceship was brought here as a... As a, as a um, as a prison guard to keep humanity in a low frequency. Whenever we feel darkness, we feel sadness. It is because the moon is is bringing us down and bringing us down and bringing us down. And so, so we want to free ourselves from that. Eventually, she will go home or be destroyed. We won't need it. We won't need. Uh, originally, the Earth was two moons. They were destroyed, but we won't need any moon. Everything will will stabilize itself. And when there is an eclipse, it's the time where, where the darkness takes over the brightness shining of the sun, which is our true light, our true self. So, so understand, we see the moon as a controller. It is an artificial intelligence of extraterrestrial origin that is controlling this planet. And, and dark extraterrestrials are using this, um, this power of the moon to keep humanity in check for... Um, 
humanity has been using these moons uh, and, and creating false timeline and so it's a mental control and so we want and we we can get rid of it all the way right, right now just to blow it up and it will be gone but because people will go insane they're so used to being subjected to those dark energies that they, they wouldn't know what to do with all the light of the sun that would emerge from them but as we, we, we do want to escape this, this, this entrapment of the moon although the goddesses work through the moon so the, the gentle feminine that reflects the light of the sun there is also this aspect of it yet we, we, we could do very well without it and so uh, the, the earth will eventually uh, get rid of it and return to a natural cycle of freedom of total freedom a new cycle and so um, also, the, because the, the Earth has been uh, vibrating, there was a planet that is a twin planet to the Earth in the Pleiades. Some um, spirit showed me that years and years ago. It's, it's exactly like the Sun, like, like the like the Earth. And uh, but they were saying that they, they used to vibrate very much together. But now the Earth is so the, so chaotic that they lost this connection of frequency. They, they vibrate actually together. They are misaligned now. Very soon we're gonna we, we're gonna come to realize that uh, there is very little life in three short dimensional physical world in in the solar system. But as soon as you go to fifth dimension, there is plenty of civilization on moons and planets, and you just gotta go to Venus to find marvelous beings and civilization that live way above what we can conceive as paradise or heaven. So, uh, and after once the mission is over, we're gonna be able to discover this this our own planet as a heavenly place, a, a fifth dimensional uh, realm. For we cannot return to the old, uh, and yet we're not comfortable with the new yet. So it is a difficult situation, huh? uh, but we every day we, we, we're getting closer, huh? uh, but we're eager to find this inner resolution in any event. Well, I hope this message was interesting for you. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sing a song and pull one a few cards so, so yeah because the moon is always like bringing us down all the negative emotion we feel is is actually control and and me even depending on our on our birth chart i have my moon in that's aligned with uh, that's in, in direct alignment with neptune in scorpio so it's a very difficult moon it's the most difficult moon but we do have to deal with that but eventually we want to eliminate all that darkness from ourselves and only have light although we'll still see it outside the the, the influence of the moon we will not be affected as much so I'm going to, well, it's, it's been integrating for 26,000 years. We've integrated, we get used to that. Huh? So it's like it's part of the process and we may ascend all together with the moon and later we'll, she will be gone. She won't need it anymore. But um, I'll sing this song that, that talks about the, the influence of the power of the moon. It's called Painted Black. I see a red door and I want it painted black. No colors anymore, I want them to turn black. I see the girls walk by in their summer clothes. I have to turn my head until my darkness goes. I see a line of car and they all painted black. With flowers and my love both never to come back. I see people turn their head and quickly look away Like a newborn baby just happens every day I look inside and see my heart is black I see a red door and I have it painted black Must be then I fade away and not have to face the fact It's not easy facing up when your whole world is black no more will my green sea turn a deeper blue. I could not force this thing happening to you. If I look hard enough into the setting sun, my love will laugh with me before the morning comes. I see a red door and I want it painted black. No colors anymore, I want them to turn black. I see the girls walk by in their summer clothes. I have to turn my head until my darkness goes. Na 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 I wanna see it painted, painted black, black as a night. Black as coal, I want to see the sun. 
Blooded out of the sky. I want to see it painted, 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 painted black. Na 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 Oh, that's a great song, the Rolling Stones. Of course, we, 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 we depression and, and um, all, um, all, all, all those things, those emotional problems, would not exist if the moon wasn't born here 26,000 years ago. So it is, a, it is a challenging program to live with that, although the Creator accepts and lives with, with all that is, for He uses all the darkness in order to expand the, the universe, and we're a very important planet. We are the keys to, to all the darkness that ever been in, to all the dark creation of the, of the galaxy, to, to find this point of ascension. So, so so our mission is very important here. We have to bear with the program and to, to accept it. Uh, Paul forecasts with the Archangel. And uh, the highest wisdom is the two of Gabriel. Be bold and make ambitious choice. Progress is possible. Favor relation with people who are seeing the same way as you do. So it's better to associate ourselves with people that are, uh, that, that are sharing our views, that are sharing uh, that, than people that are opposing our views. So it is the wisdom, where the wisdom lies. What we need to do is the S of Michael, standing on top of a mountain there. A brilliant idea has just come up. Do not yet let yourself be, be stopped by the hurdles on the way. Uh, elucidate all communication problems. So it's very much a kind of brilliance, of clarity. Then what we need to do is the two of Michael. Everything would be better if you would make a decision. Do not ask yourself too many questions. Too many questions. Find a compromise. So it's two unicorns that are, they don't want to fight each other. And uh, the outcome will be the decision. The Archangel Jophiel. She's, uh, she's here. She's like letting birds out of the cage. And she's saying, uh, free yourself from anything that prevents you from moving forward. Need to purify unjustified worry induced by the lack in trust in yourself for for we this uh, this, this matrix has been brought us down in some some sense we we've been we've been we haven't been uh, the, the world hasn't been so supportive of each and every one uh, self-esteem huh? so we have to to give ourselves that to, to encourage ourselves to find friends that are supporting that as well well i hope this message was interesting for you i wish you a wonderful day i'll talk to you later namaste